Hi, this is Ahmed al and Manos Brilakis presenting case 266 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a follow-up from case 234, which was a flash aortostial CTO that had two unsuccessful attempts for recanalization. The patient was an older woman with previous cabbage and recurrent failure of a saphenous vein graft to the right coronary artery that uh, had uh, a failed attempt and then was sent to our institution where a second attempt was performed. This is from the first attempt, diffuse disease in the vein graft. There is some retrograde feeling of the right coronary artery. It's a flat, flat aortoosteal CTO with significant calcification in the aorta. So based on this, we decided to go for a primary retrograde approach. We did use the Carlino technique, going retrograde through a microcatheter. And despite using multiple penetrating guide wires as well as e-card, we were unable to puncture retrograde into the aorta. We tried to engage and we could not engage. And um, after all this, we had a dissection of the anastomosis of the saphenous vein graft. So we had to stand all the way from the saphenous vein graft into the native uh, right coronary artery. And this was the final result. We did have um, flow in the vein graft, but the CTO remained occluded. So after this attempt, which was the second attempt for this patient, we were not planning to actually do another attempt, but the patient came back one month later with worsening chest discomfort, and she was told at another institution to go in hospice. Before deciding whether it was worth trying again, since we had tried pretty much everything before, we had a, a non-contrast CT because of chronic kidney disease, just to make sure that there was no calcium all around blocking the ostium of the right coronary artery, and there appeared to be no calcification just at the ostium of the right coronary artery. So calcium everywhere, but there was a short segment where there was no calcium that corresponded to the ostium of the right coronary. So similar to the previous uh, attempt, we went retrograde through the saphenous vein graft. We used an angulated supercross microcatheter, and then we had difficulty advancing the retrograde equipment because of the previously placed stents. But eventually we were able to um, use a blocking balloon. We used a different microcatheter, a caravel, and we were able to advance the retrograde microcatheter into the mid-right coronary artery. We then used uh, a more supportive wire, delivered a more supportive Corsair Pro microcatheter retrogradely. And here we are, we still have um, some uh, uh, length of patent vessel until the osteal occlusion. So we tried various wires, including the Guy NX3, but we could not go any further. So we took it out and tried with the Gladius Mongo. Our idea is to knuckle it and go to the ostium and then try to find ways to puncture. But to our great surprise, the wire actually sailed. This is the wire going into branches, then it knuckles, then it goes along the course of the RCA and then just enters into the aorta. And now the wire is out in the aorta. We can see it's moving nicely, freely with the blood flow. So these are one of the not very common, but very nice surprises where they happened. And then we were able to advance the retrograde Corsair into the aorta. We then snared the an R350 guide wire. And after doing that, we predilated, uh, stented. We used an osteal flush balloon to expand the stent well around the ostium of the right coronary artery. And then because there was brisk competitive flow from the saphenous vein graft, we ended up putting coils as well as an amplatzer vascular two plug, and this successfully occluded the saphenous vein graft. And this was the final result with uh, TM3 great flow from the native right coronary artery all the way to the distal RCA as well as the right posterior artery. So multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that we had done pretty much the same thing during the second attempt to recanalize the RCA CTO and were unsuccessful, but this time, using similar techniques, essentially a polymer jacketed guide wire retrograde, we were able to successfully cross the CTO into the aorta. And the critical part for actually trying this procedure was the coronary CT that showed us that the ostium of the RCA was not completely calcified as we had thought before. We also had difficulty going retrograde because of the previous stand, and this is where having an angulated uh, microcatheter and the blocking balloon can be very useful. We then did the snaring in the innominate artery, which is easier to do than to the aorta. 
we had good stand expansion. We used the Ostial flush balloon to make sure we had a good opposition of the stand against the order. And then we did coil the Safenus vein graph to minimize competitive flow. Thank you.